So let us kind of go through uh, a bit to begin with. Um, uh, I'll BS for a little bit, and then uh, I'm going to let the officers um, kind of add their own bits, um, trying to flesh it out and whatnot. Um, so if you don't try to spam the questions quite yet, because I think you guys will, a, a good number of them should be answered just with us talking. So, or at least some of them, I don't know. So the first things first is, again, we will post what the actual rules are. And again, this is simplified ROE. So rule number one is no loot, don't shoot, unless you're being trolled. Uh, number two is armadas are protected. So what that means is an active armada. Do not hit stuff in an active armada. Rule number three is warships are meant for war, i.e. they are fair game at all times, unless number two. And the fourth rule is don't be a dick. I think probably the most important thing. However, kind of just to kind of hit some of the parts of what we mean. So for the rule number one, so obviously no loot, don't shoot is pretty obvious. Now, what that does not mean is, you know, we're not saying... We want everybody to go out and hit everything possible, okay? Realize the biggest impetus for making this change in ROE is not to say these are times that you have to engage. This is saying we are expanding your ability to make your own decision on when to engage. We are going away from all the craziness of, you know, only on Thursday, and if it's a minor and it's on this lat node and, you know, it's sunny out, you know, can you hit them, but only with an explorer? You know, that's the type of crap we're trying to get away from. So what we mean by the, unless you're being trolled, the example that I've given a thousand times is it's a booty bay on a double lat node, slow mining for a day. Okay, so if that person is mining, and even if they are not OPL, and there are no available lat nodes, you know, particularly if it's a lat event, if you care about that, then hitting that player off that would be considered a legitimate hit. Okay, what this doesn't mean is to just run through and just hit crap for no good reason. So, for example, if you are hitting for a zero node or you know, even some people for an OPL hit, you know, I still would expect, particularly for the zero nodes, I would expect a, a one minute warning type of PM or when you're leaving, warping into that area. You know, this is still, you know, we're not trying to be assholes about it. So even though you have that expanded ability, for example, the Borg space, you know, if you run into Borg space and there is an active Vidar, that is, you know, mining, you know, hunting Borg probes and that you can see that player going through and being online and all that kind of crap. If you just run in and start hitting every Vidar in there, you know, because it technically is a warship, you're going to have issues. Everybody should understand that that's being excessive. Now, if you're warping into Borg space and this is your second one because you're burning your second token and somebody's Vidar is sitting on the corner at 25% health and, you know, has been there for 45 minutes, you know, I would almost consider that would be a PM. Hey, you're idle, you're an idle warship and you're OPL. I'm going to hit you. You know, if you don't wake up, I would consider that legit. But somebody like going into a Borg space and just burning through everybody, that's going to be a violation of rule number four in my mind. So the when you look at obviously number two is very self-explanatory. You know, if an armada is active, don't hit any ships inside of it. You know, if they're floating somewhere else, you have, again, your discretion. The whole idea is to give you guys discretion about what to hit. But if you have any question about it, realize that your default, so to speak, should be essentially what we've had as server ROE. You know, that's your, hey, if you do it under those rules, you are 100% protected. Nobody's going to have any issue with what you did, et cetera, et cetera. You know, particularly for this first week, um, we are going to try to have, obviously, 
you know, officers and myself and whatever around a lot. Uh, we're going to try to have uh, people sitting in the uh, voice channel, um, just in the general channel or whatnot, or I'll change the permissions on this one uh, to allow everybody to speak in it. But just if you need to hit somebody up, if you want to just ask, you know, if it's a legit hit, you know, please do. And there's going to be some back and forth. So be understanding of that. But uh, we definitely want you to err on the side of caution, particularly as this goes into effect. If people start running amok, then all shite's going to break loose and it'll be a little too chaotic. So let's try to avoid that. Um, going on to number three, again, warships are fair game regardless of the area. But again, if I rolled through, you know, swarm space, you know, with my Ent and just killed everything because I could, that's going to be considered a violation of rule number four. That's being a dick. Okay. But, you know, obviously miners on nodes or if some, or excuse me, a, a, a warship on a node or somebody else, uh, you know, a floating warship that maybe it was farming. And now has just been sitting there for an hour. If they have a whole bunch of, like you guys were talking about when I hopped in, frequency modulators, if you still need that, you know, I would consider that a legit hit. But I would tend to say, eh, if this person's actively farming, going in and hitting an active farmer, you better have a pretty dire need for it. And, you know, there better be that risk first reward. Because what you were hearing earlier about, you know, what is my risk? You know, the reward is, let's say, however many thousand frequency modulators. Your risk is pissing somebody off to the point where they're going to start turning around and hitting other people more quick, you know, frequently, or they're going to drop and dry hit or start a war. I mean, you know, realize there are going to be reactions to your actions. But if it's done for a legitimate reason, that's where we want this ROE to be, you know, what we want this ROE to be. Again, placing more of the responsibility on you for the decision making and less on a somewhat arbitrary list of rationales and reasons and instances that is frankly too convoluted. And then when we get down to the fourth rule, again, it's the don't be a dick. You know, hitting somebody just because you want to hit them, that is being a dick. Hitting somebody, in my mind, who is actively farming, even if it's a warship, and even if it's OPL, in, in particular in Borg space, you're going to have to try to justify that to myself or one of the officers for doing so. But like I said, somebody who was farming there and apparently just went AFK and left their, their ship sitting there for hours on end in their OPL because maybe they're just waiting for that... Uh, the, the assimilated miner to show up, so they'd left their ship at 10% health and have been there all day. I wouldn't blame you for it in that person. So no, that's flip side of that, Inco, real quick. Go uh, for it. I was going to pass I, it over to you anyway. Okay, cool. Um, thanks. I, I did want to just say, like, it, for example, if I'm going into Borg space and there's a Vidar sitting there and they've grind it out, you know, a hundred and, you know, 150 mil and they're showing 120 mil and they're just sitting there, not actively grinding. I would totally hit that. Absolutely. freaking lutely You know, um, but if somebody's like in the middle of flying around hitting ships, I don't know. That's kind of a dick move. Yeah. That I think is the main difference, you know, because you know, having like, for example, the miners on nodes that sit there for ever and ever and ever, you know, I, I, I just don't agree with that. And, you know, having just somebody sitting there, like I said, I guess they're sitting there waiting to log back over and see if the 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 assimilated well, miner appears, they, maybe? They I don't know. Sit, they, if they can, people should can do that, sure, whatever, but they should, shouldn't be way OPL. Now, Scar said uh, deep space idle broken ship parts. Totally, I think that should be open to hitting any time. Um, right. You know, we, and, and they're, they're, they're very valuable. The more valuable the commodity, the more likely, or the, the more you should hit them. I mean, if it's a super valuable commodity that's not easy to get, then absolutely, you know, go after it. More justifiable. 
It is yeah, more justifiable. Absolutely. I would agree. But again, you know, I would expect this would not include, you know, somebody who is actively farming. You know, if you're hitting an active farmer, again, I think you're in violation of rule number four. But if it's somebody who just has a floating ship that's been there for an hour and it's OPL, it's like, pfft, well, you shouldn't have. I'm sorry if, you know, and again, the PMs, I can hear them already. You know, oh, but I was just taken to the hospital because my dog broke its leg and my house was on fire and I just got COVID and whatever it is. You know, there's all these lists of reasons. It's like, well, you know, as the Russians say, Tusky Shitsky, this time you left somebody floating there with a ton of loot. You got popped. Okay. I feel sorry for your dog and your mom and, you know, all that kind of stuff. But that's life in the big city. Uh, also, I think if, if you sit there and you just see for literally a couple minutes that the ship hasn't moved and it's sitting there OPL, just hit it. If somebody's yeah, not, I'm good with like 20 minutes. I don't care that much. I know, I know if, I'm, if I really care about what I'm grinding and I don't want people to hit me, and it's becoming obvious that a lot of people on the server are hitting OPLs that are just floating around, then I'm going to pay a lot more attention. Furthermore, if it becomes the norm, um, if I get hit, I'm not going to get mad because it's the norm. So any norm that, you know, gets created out of, you know, our actions here will become the server normal and people just will learn to not be pissed about it. Just like raiding. I mean, I remember way back when everybody would get mad when they got raided. Didn't matter. You know, now you, we just keep telling people over and over again, shield their share, shield their share. And now people don't get mad because they've gotten used to it. All right. If, Handy, do you have anything else or you want to pass off to uh, Groper? I, yeah. Uh, Groper, do you got anything to add? Yeah. I mean, we kind of discussed a little bit yesterday about, you know, part of not being a dick. Um, you know, when I'm out there grinding and I'm just, you know, just grinding, trying to get my shit and I see other alliances that come in to town and they got a tail, you know, if I have the means, I take it out and, and I take it out every freaking time. Um, you know, that, that kind of goes on the other side of, you know, not the actions you, you take, but the actions you do. So it, it kind of helps build rapport. Um, I found that in every system that I've ever done that at. I, I don't even have a single person that even considers hitting me. And I probably get 10 to 20 PMs a day asking if I can take their tail out. So it kind of built that reputation up. Um, you know, so a lot of this about not being a dick is, 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 is PR too. Uh, we'll go down Nemi. Uh, so I'll, I'll just do something specific. Vulcan asked a question about, you know, specifically about lat nodes. And if somebody is holding a node with a horizon before an event, and there's no other open nodes, and you want to do the same thing. Again, it's it's going to be you as the player getting the chance to make that choice for yourself. I, I would say that I would think that unless it's Monday morning, 8 a.m., there's probably a lat node open somewhere, as there usually are up until maybe an hour or so before the event. And even then, there are other ways to mine that event. Uh, I used to do it all the time with just mining three star stuff. So not as fast as Latinum, but other alternatives. But again, you know, if, if somebody's on there with a horizon and the lat event is approaching and you've looked and there's no other open notes, send them a quick PM, say, hey, you know, coming are, in hot. Yeah. I mean, these are these are, you know, Latinum nodes, specialty ship the game gives you for hundred percent for free. Uh, no reason not to use that ship. So there you go. But uh, I think in general, you know, whether somebody is OPL or not, no loot, don't shoot just simply means have a reason for the hit. You know, we're not going to go around just smashing ships just to smash ships, just to crank up a power destroyed stat that's meaningless. So it's not going to be, you know, somebody going rough shot over everything. It's just going to be, Hey, if you have a valid reason for it, if it makes sense, if you if you would if you would expect somebody to do it back to you, then I think you've got your validation. If you if you wouldn't want someone doing it to you, you should take a second second guess or, or a second look at why why are you doing it to somebody else? 
Now, if you can if you can have a good justification, then you know, make the decision as as the player. I uh, now I might also argue that right before a lat event, I don't see anything wrong with going out and hunting your opponent and seeing if they're sitting there. 300 400 500k opl you know preloading for the event let's go hunt those guys you know even the playing field right before the event then they don't have some huge advantage well and again that that's that is a a form of having loot you know just just exactly. because somebody's opl it's it's not it's not restricted to somebody having to have higher higher than the protected limit of cargo it's it's simply a way of saying no loot, don't shoot. So have a reason for the hit. It, it's really that simple. Yeah, have a good reason. Yeah, I mean it, it's it's that simple. If it's borderline, feel free to reach out and ask somebody else. You know, hey, uh, here's the situation. What do you think? Would you hit this person? Ask ask for you know a com to to help you out. Ask one of the the uh, the people who've been around for a while. See what they would say. I mean, don't put yourself on an island. If you're unsure, there's there's almost always going to be somebody online you can bounce the idea off of. So kind of back to you know, that same idea of the this kind of vague term of loot. Like for me personally, this is not going to this change in ROE is not going to change my gameplay um, just because of how I play. It doesn't matter. Minerals don't matter. So for the the people that are asking specifically about like deep space. I would say during a normal run of the mill everyday kind of BS, I ain't hitting anybody in deep space. I don't care how OPL they are just because number one, those minerals don't mean anything for those of you that are, you know, that are up there. You realize like you do it just because like you have extra ships and you figure you might as well, but it's not very valuable. And number two, there are plenty of nodes open. So just hitting somebody. Sorry, the, I just wanted to say real quick that the only reason I could think of doing that is to keep somebody out of an event. Right. But so that's what I was getting at time, is you know, like just trolling. But. Right. During a normal day, whatever, you know, I think there's really very little, if any, reason to do it. Now, when for those people that actually give a rat's ass about the lad event, which is y'all have probably seen, I stop, you know, preloading or running extra miners or any of that kind of crap, you know, a while back. So I wouldn't do it personally during a lad event because I can get to the different systems and at least have a miner on everything. But for example, a lot of people can only get to one system and then they will send, you know, five miners out of theirs. So they have five of their miners in a system where there are, you know, whatever it is, a dozen nodes. So they're basically capitalizing almost half of them. I would not fault you for PMing that person. Say, hey, you have five of the nodes in this system. I It's full. I need to mine here. And using that as a reason to hit. And also the ones that are sitting there zero noted, you know, obviously preloading for the lat event, you know, that I wouldn't fault you for hitting either. Right. You know, and, and, and I've actually had similar situations where I've actually done that um, against a uh, crash him himself, uh, MRFM. And uh, he had four miners in deep space, every node occupied, uh, you know, every node was occupied. And I sent him a message and I waited like 30 minutes saying, hey, you got, you know, a bunch of nodes here. And, you know, I need one because it was back when I needed those resources. And, uh, so I wound up, he had um, three ships that were OPL and one that was not OPL. I went ahead and took the one that was not OPL just to show a little bit of respect. You know, hey, I'm sorry, but I'm taking the node. You know, I talked to you, I, you know, I tried to send you a message 30 minutes ago and, and, and this is the results. And, you know, he responded back, you know, I thank you. I appreciate, uh, you know, giving me a heads up and I especially appreciate you didn't take me OPLs. So that kind of goes on the, to not being a dick. I mean, if you need the OPL, yeah, I'm, I'm not going to fault you. But if you don't and you just want to mine, then, you know, I encourage you to make the better decision. I think that's a great example of what Groper just said. I mean, the whole idea of here's somebody with four ships 
he chose the one that was not OPL because his loot is the node itself. It is, I need to mine this node. I don't really actually need the shite coming from it. So that is a perfect example of not being a dick. And even more so, even if he hit an OPL, I wouldn't fault him for it. But his choice to hit the one that is not OPL because it is purely for the node, I think that shows a great deal of character. And those are the kind of decisions, you know, I would prefer to see that because I think that is eminently defensible. And somebody who bitches and moans on the other side, like, he hit me, you know, on my node. It's like, well, but you had four guys. This guy asked for a node. He PM'd you, and he hit your non-OPL one. The person that'd be whining and crying about being the one hit, they look like a total jackass, you know? Did you have more that you wanted to hit, Groper, before I uh, pause time and space? I I think I was rambling earlier before, you know, I mysteriously dropped. (laughs) Uh, But, you know, I was talking about trying to help out other alliances where you can if you're capable you have the means um i do it when i'm out grinding somebody comes in you know they're not you know they got a tail i hit them you know and i'll go out of my way to hit their tail if i'm capable and i i would have to say that i i haven't been hit in any of the freaking spaces in a good six months since i started that campaign because everyone actually comes to me they say hey you know i'm gonna be coming in can you get my tail you know, if I'm there and I'm capable, then yeah, I'm going to, I'm going to get their tail. And that just kind of gives back a little. Yeah. Kind of similar outreach for our Nona members do things that, you know, people like you would really like it if somebody did it for you. Right. Yeah. Right. There's a goal. I like, there's to a goal PM random, I like to PM random people when I have a bunch of frequency mods, people that I know could use it. And ask them if they want it. You know, it might take me five, ten minutes to find somebody, but they're usually very thankful when you know I go run my ship into them. Yeah, I'll, I'll get my BB up to three hundred and ninety k, way OPL, and I'll sometimes open it up in general chat. Hey, I'm OPL, first come, first serve. You know, I don't need it, so come get it. You know, I do little things like that. If you guys have specific questions, feel free to start hitting them in the uh, typing area up above, and we'll try to hit those. Otherwise, you, if you guys don't know already, we will ramble like sons of bitches. <laughs> no one can ramble like me. That's true. That's very true. Although I'm pissed OB in here. That, that son of a bitch can probably ramble. He's probably sitting by the pool with a... a no, he's hungry over the day. It could be that too. So as we go forward again, you know, if you guys have questions, try to hit us up. If we're just dicking around, you know, we'll try to, you know, float in the, uh, in the comms area in this channel. And I'll change the perms so that everybody can speak. You know, if you want to talk it out, I mean, it's, it's over the internet. We can't hug it out, you know. But if you want to talk it out, that's fine. If you want to PM, it's fine. If we just want to do it on disk itself. And I'll make sure that we have... Uh... Oh, God. There, <laughs> Thanks, Tia. <laughs> um, <laughs> we'll, we'll make sure and be able to try to straighten it out. Uh, TM's question, any, any book that... Uh, he can recommend on how not to be a dick, um, how to win friends and influence people. Um, it's an excellent book. Right. I, I thought, uh, you know, men from Mars, women from Venus kind of shit myself. <laughs> All right. So, and then uh, Bao was asking, so basically what's the big change? I mean, again, the major change is there's no such thing as protection per token areas. Um, if you're OPL, you're OPL, but the biggest thing, and I can't emphasize this enough, is that what we're the, one of the main the main impetus for doing this is trying to number one remember this is a game, but number two, we're not we're trying to remove some of these artificial restrictions on a player's ability to play the game their way. Now, what that means is, you know, you now have the decision. Is that something that I should hit? Is it justifiable in my mind? And if I were on the other side, 
would I feel, you know, maybe peeved that I got hit or, you know, you know, a, a little ticked off at myself for leaving a guy floating there. But would I fault a person for making the decision to hit me in that same scenario? You know, I think that's your biggest test. So we want people to have that type of ability to make these decisions. You know, as players of the game, and particularly for our alliance, the, you guys are not new players. You know, you know, you're you're pretty seasoned. So, you know, I do expect to hold you all to a higher standard, though, as well. I'm definitely going to try to bring my standard up. <laughs> mm -hmm. What the hell was Kirk asking? Yeah, keep it simple, stupid. Uh, Meg, no, it's it's not really to prepare for anything specific. It's just a lot of us are really tired of the overcomplication of row. Right. Yeah, yeah that's right. the toughest thing. It's it's at least again, I think that it it very well we this may explode in our faces and I totally understand that but I'm willing to accept the risk of that for at yeah. least trying this experiment particularly with this alliance. And I would also credit, you know, a lot of the other top alliances with an ability to do this. Do I think this is an ROE applicable to every alliance or every player? No, I don't, because a lot of people don't make good decisions, particularly early on in the game. They can't understand what the value of this mat is or this node or whatever if you've been playing the game three days. And those are some of the players that literally have been given voting privileges for current ROE. So that's why we've decided to make this change. You know, and the, a few core things like Armadas are protected, you know, because they're real money. Um, you know, some of those core things um, aren't going to change, but, you know, some of the really simple things, you know, well, like, um, basically, we want to make sure that you have the freedom to go out and get the resources you need, however way you deem necessary, without being a dick. And then so... Tech clarified what Kirk was saying, which I found the same comes from their podcast. Um, so he's asking what happens when somebody doesn't agree with us and decides to put known as a whole on their KOS list. Well, that's declaring war. And I'm okay with that. I feel pretty comfortable defending myself. You know, would I, and I do think that'll probably happen. You know, I, Prob I think that we'll probably get a couple of people. Now, do I think it's people that I really think is are, is going to be very consequential? Probably not. In addition to that, Nona itself has been KOS for somebody or something for for seventy five percent of the time it's been an alliance. So while I do think it it's not something that I want, to be honest, it's not that big of a change for us. So, you know, those people, if there are those alliances or those people, you know, if they drop tags and dry hit, for example, you know, that's why we have our pact of upper echelon alliances that we will vote and say that person is, you know, a dry hitter, or as we say, it's, you know, the federation against hitting questionably, the fuck you alliance. You know, if, if those people are, basically hitting just to be dicks because they're butt hurt about something, then they're going to suffer consequences from a good number of top alliances. So I don't think that changes. And again, our whole change for us going to this is again, not to be those fricking people either. Rule number four probably should be rule number one, to be quite honest. Yeah, absolutely. You know, one thing I want to add to the whole interpretation of ROE that I often apply, you know, in, in worst case circumstances, you know, I, I like to get to know who I'm hitting and what their ROE is. And I actually try to abide by their ROE because argumentatively, a lot of people's interpretation of ROE is their alliance ROE. So if you're not respecting theirs, 
why should they really respect yours? So it's kind of a give and take. Yeah, I agree with that. Any other pointed questions or specifics or thoughts? Because, I mean, in the end, this really should be pretty simple. And it's it's the same analogy, you know, without exposing, you know, or, or talking about politics. It's the same idea of allowing your battlefield commanders and, you know, essentially officers, which I think, to be honest, anybody level 30 and above at least ought to be a lieutenant. You know, you should have some wherewithal to make the decisions in how you play the game and have some, ra as long as you have some rationale behind it, you know. If you have, for example, there are players, you know, like Chef, like I, I actually don't fault him for his game because he's honest about it and it's very upfront. That's not what we're going to do. That's not our alliance. But, you know, there's at least some rationale there. So as long as things are open and transparent and people aren't dicks about it, you know, I, I don't see that this is a bad thing. I see this as a positive thing. So Tech asked about what's my opinion of hitting OPL ships in Yarda. <laughs> I think I always thought hitting in any of Aug space is about the stupidest fucking thing known to mankind. I mean, what are you going to hit it with? I mean, even if you go in and hit it with a Vidar, so you can get 290k, you know, data. Okay, you just saved yourself 10 minutes of time. Like, what the hell is the point of that? I mean, I guess if yeah, I went in really and hit it with, if, if you hit it with miners, okay, so let's say you hit it for 300 million, or sorry, th uh, 3 million data. Okay, that's about 30 minutes of time. Like, what the hell is the freaking point of that? I consider all hitting an augment space dick, to be quite honest, but that's me personally. So I do understand people doing it, but I still kind of question, like, did you really need to do that? Like, is, really? Because we all know nobody wants to go to that frickin' space. We go there just so we can get some goddamn data and get the hell out of there. You do it once a week or a month or whatever you want. So personally, I think Aug Space is about the one place that I would consider no PvP because it's stupid. Yeah, it, yeah. especially with the new nodes, you know. I, I mean, mean if you, <laughs> yeah, they mine super fast. I mean, if you can come up with some really good reason and back it up at why you needed to hit there, great, do it. But I just don't see any good reason for it. So like DT was asking about, you know, again, why the, R the RSS token space for outlaw? Like, I mean, I don't know about you guys, but I've got whatever it is, 30 of those freaking tokens right now. What are they? Half a dozen nodes per spot. So there are 18 nodes for the entire server, and we're going to make that no PvP? I mean... So no, it's I, open for hits, open for biz. Well, but what I was, what what I would argue is our transition to this type of ROE makes a hell of a lot more sense than us saying, okay, well, you want your ROE to be no PvP? How about five or six of our players will go in there and occupy every goddamn node there is, and nobody will ever use it ever again? Which one is being a dick, doing what we're doing, or doing the latter? Right. And really, I don't think anybody's going to go in there and hit for OPL unless somebody's grossly OPL. I mean, if somebody's in there, like the other day when I first did it, I got 1.5 mil uh, of three-star ore for 30 seconds of my time. Yeah, and because I, I was completely that. out of three-star ore, and I didn't want to mine it myself. And I went and I looked in there, and these guys, all these guys are grossly OPL, so I went and hit them. And I feel totally justified doing that. So the same thing uh, Tech was asking again, Borg lat space. This is one personally, you know, and again, this is this depends on your dicometer. I view the Borg tokens actually as much more rare. So yeah, it's, it's a lot harder to get into that at space. Right. So and and what's more is on the risk reward type of mindset. What do I care about Latinum? Now, obviously, I've got a bit, but a lot of people like, okay, like even if you go and hit people, let's say, for example, 
you know, you get a few million lat from going through and clearing out people that are OPL with divorce or whatever. And if you crunch the numbers on that, what is it? 150 K or something like that to get 500 latinum. So you can maybe get, you know, four or five K lat. Okay. That's not bad, but what is the salt that you're generating on somebody who finally killed their first, you know, not only, or maybe it's their seventh, you know, assimilated miner to finally get their first token. Like it better be a pretty big payout in order to do that. Personally, I think the payout's a lot better to go in there with your Vidar and get 290k freaking Borg things so that you can get the hell out of there. So, you know, that's my take on that. I would be very reserved for somebody hitting those unless, again, if they are grossly, grossly OPL and you're like, and you're a free to pay player and, you know, you can get some lap out of that, I wouldn't fault you for that. Yeah, smooth. I don't know where to get a decometer, by the way. It's just kind of an internal gestalting. So I think, you know, this hopefully fleshes out for you guys what we expect and what we're going to try to do. I do expect the next week in particular to be a little rocky, and that's to say the least. Uh, we'll probably have one or two alliances declare war on us. That's okay. Uh, but... You know, this is the result of a lot of different conversations in several different discords with a number of people. And the, there was a lot of agreement that this was kind of what people would like to do and what should be done. And then the question was all, well, who's going to do it? And I volunteered us because I think we're already under a microscope. I don't see us ever getting out of one. So I'm happy of testing the experiment with us and I have a lot of respect for the players that we have here and we're going to be watching and just like you know in our current ROE the whole idea of you know the, and this will be a subset of the simplified one but trust me the rule that you do not send a PM unless you feel comfortable posting that either on our discord or given to an officer or to myself or whatnot this is the same idea you know, there's really no different. You can't be a dick in PMs and you shouldn't be in your play. But at the same time, we're not going to handcuff your play when it makes sense to you. I'm not going to blame a free to play player for hitting somebody on a lat node because it's a lot more for them. In the same token, just like uh, was either Handy or Nemi was saying, you know, hitting for 1.5 million G3, you know, even though it was a token space, even though I think it's a garbage token space. So we didn't have to go mine it. I got it. Any other questions before we wrap up? Kirk, feel free to flame me anytime. <laughs> All right. Well, we will continue. To, oh, purge day. Purge day. That's, that's, we'll agree it's with separate. what the server does that's separate um my understanding is we were supposed to have one in a few weeks i have to get confirmation um <laughs> before i get kicked yeah, off the council wait. which i'm really sad that i don't have to check that discord anymore if i get kicked off so um but i would agree with purge day just for everyone because i think this game is so meek on pvp anyway that it would be very entertaining to have a purge day personally yeah. I think that would be fun. I second that nomination. Excellent. <laughs> All right. Well, like we said, guys, you know, we will be around. Um, and as and officially, this starts at server reset. So essentially five hours from now. So, you know, this week will be interesting and exciting. I hope you guys keep your heads about you. And again, if there are any questions whatsoever, bring it up in disk. We'll double check that we have a dedicated channel to ROE questions that will be down in our uh, regular uh, regular side of disk, but it will be exclusively for ROE examples or questions. And we'll try to get to them as fast as we can. And then 
myself and other officers will try to hover in the uh, Discord chat section for voice if you want to pop in there and ask a question. Uh, or feel free to send us a PM or a message in disk to ask us to pop in so that you can talk something over if you, if you prefer to talk it rather than type it. Right. And I'm on about 75% of the day. So please feel free to PM me anytime. All right. Well, thank you guys a lot. I hope you have a good, very short remainder of your weekends and look forward to this week.